What defines an identity? If someone stole your identity, what does that mean? What can you do to keep your online identity safe and secure? If you don't really know what I'm talking about, then you're in the right place. Your identity is all the personal information that defines who you are and how you are identified. This includes your name, address, phone numbers, birth dates, passport numbers, social numbers for the government at all levels, driver's license, bank account numbers, family information, etc. This is all information that is used to uniquely identify you. When you get online, one of the first things you will wind up doing is setting and adding to your identity information. When you visit chat groups or discussion boards, you usually have to first create some kind of account and choose to identify yourself with a nickname and password. If you do online banking or shop online, same thing. You will have to set up an account and establish your identity. As you go online and expand your identity, just remember, you don't always know who will be looking at you or how long your comments or messages may stick around. So respect your own identity and don't create rude or offensive identities in case they come back to haunt you. It is extremely important to protect your identity. Identity theft is a growing crime all over the world. With bits of personal information that people might get from you, even from receipts or scraps of paper and more than they may get online, they may get enough to assume your identity, which is what we mean when we say identity theft. If this happens, the most common abuses are money stolen from accounts, credit card use, and the forging or request of important documents. It isn't just important to be safe with your personal information online. You need to be cautious about what you leave around and throw out because your problems with identity theft online may have started from your garbage can. When you are online, your identity should be held closely for other reasons than theft. You can never know for sure who you're talking to, especially in text conversations. So, whether you are posting to message boards, IMing, or blogging, some simple tips will help keep you safe. Create a nickname that does not use your real name or refer to anything personal about you. If you have an avatar that allows you to upload pictures of you, don't use that feature. Use cartoons or other photos instead. These are supposed to represent you, not be you. When you have to register for certain sites, and you will, make sure that you give as little personal information as possible. Fill in the required fields only. Do not provide any additional information. And if the registration is forcing information like your address and phone numbers or what sex you are, you may want to consider going somewhere else. If you have an opportunity to upload images of you, family, and friends to a non-secure area, don't. You are always at risk when downloading in public forums, so be very cautious about it. More and more people are going online with their cell phone or mobile device. The same types of rules apply. Just think about how much personal information you have on your cell phone or Blackberry. Do you want someone with bad intentions to get access to all your friends and family members? I don't think so. Maybe you even put some critical information like account numbers in there, which, by the way, isn't such a good idea. If you have a password login feature for your device, use it. I know it's a pain, but it will keep your information safe. And just remember, if you have someone else's personal information, they gave that information to you, not to your friend. So always ask permission before sharing any type of personal information. If you're walking around, keep your device out of sight if you can. Don't make it a target for others. If you like to SMS, don't respond to any unless you know who the sender is. And if you are getting unwanted calls and messages, make sure you find out how to block them. Connecting with others online is a great opportunity to meet people from all over the world. But just remember that everyone out there is not there for the same reasons, and you should guard your identity so you don't find yourself a target for bullying, theft, or abuse. Mm -hmm.